What's going on guys, Prox and talking you back again with my Royal Rumble 2001 um, review and this was the last ever um, Royal Rumble um, with the Attitude Era, so the last Attitude Era Royal Rumble we had and when I talk about, to talk to the people I know who are my age and stuff, the best wrestling, the best time to be a wrestler was 96 to 2001, that was the best time and I know WCW, even in the bad years, you were still watching WCW episodes, I don't care how bad WCW was, you were still watching, I know that eventually WWF, they, they won the war and, and that, but you were still watch WCW, and you even have some WW, WCW fans that still thought you watched the WWF, and it was a kind of a sign of the changes as well, because obviously WCW and the Monday Wars would end after WrestleMania 17, and they were transitioning to this new era, yeah, you had Austin and Rock getting a bit older, Triple H was still still the main event guy, so he was still there, Kane was getting older, this and that, so they was really in a transition to the next level in the WWE, and that stupid invasion, which I'm not going to talk about. Anyway, so we started off Royal Rumble 2001 with a good tag team opener here, we had the Dudley Boys vs Edge and Christian, any time that these two or Jeff and Matt had a tag team match together, and you'll see in the WrestleMania 17 review that I said that, that that that, well, that that triple threat match they had with TLC was awesome, and this tag team match was good between the Dudleys and Edge and Christian. Um, I just thought it was a real good match and just great chemistry all around. The Dudley boys win with the three D before before they won the match. Um, Edge and Christian was gonna do got the the thing where they do the uh, headbutt to the cock and whatever, and obviously uh, the Ivan. Um, he kicks Edge off the top rope, and the Dudley retained their the win the WWF tag the WWF tag team titles. And then we had Chris Jericho versus Chris Benoit for the WWF IC title. Benoit was champion going into this, and obviously we know what happened to Benoit in later years. And unfortunately, this is one of the matches that was a really good match, and we cannot talk about it. Well, WWE we don't want to talk about it. This was a really good match because of the individual that was in it, not Chris Jericho, but the other individual that was in it, and what he did after, many years later, after this event, and it's a, it's a, I think it's sad that, you know, 19 years later, that this is a great match, but we cannot talk about it because of Benoit, and what he did to his family, and I, I agree with that, you cannot mention it, because he murdered his family, so, you know, but it's sad that, what one, what one person did is, you know, no one can talk this about. And this was a really good IC title match. He had obviously Benoit and Jericho had great chemistry from WCW, and um, Benoit was in a submission on the ladder. Jericho gets the win, and he is your new WWE Intercontinental Champion. Then we have a women's title match it's Ivory versus China. This was a time when near the end of China's exit, 2001, it was her exit, so she was nearing her time ending in WWF, and obviously. Ivory in China, they would obviously face off. Was it Ivory in China? At WrestleMania? Yeah. And obviously, they, this was just a throwaway match because Ivory wins. It was a short match. They brought backstage and stuff like that. Obviously, the, the match would happen at WrestleMania. And then we have Kurt Angle versus Triple H for the WWF title. I thought that this was a really good match as well. Um, Kurt Angle gets to win. Austin interferes in this match as well, costing Triple H the match. And Kurt Angle wins the match. Obviously, that they're setting up their match for No Way Out 2001 in a three, uh, three, three stages of a hell match they had in 2001. And Kurt Angle obviously would go on to face Rock at the next pay per view, which is No Way Out, like I said. Anyway, but it was a good match. Kurt Angle retained his title, and um, then we started the Royal Rumble itself. Jeff Hardy and Bobby, Bobby, Jeff Hardy and the Bull. Start off the Royal Rumble. Then we have Matt Hardy, Baruch, Drew Carey, Kane. Kane had the most eliminations till obviously Roman Reigns and and now Brock Lesnar. With he had eleven then obviously now thirteen with Brock Lesnar. Um, and then it was Raven, Al Snow, Perry Saturn, then Steve Whiteman, Grandmaster Sexy, Hulk Topman, The Rock, Godfather, Taz, Bradshaw, Albert, Hulk Holly. K Quick, which is aka R Truth, uh, Big Show, Crash Hall, Crash Holly, Undertaker, Sky Two Hardy, uh, Steve Austin came in at twenty seven, 
28 was Billy Gunn, 29 was Haku, and 20, 30 was Rikishi. So the final three of this match was Rock, Austin, and Kane. Kane eliminates Austin. No, Kane eliminates Rock, sorry. And Kane and Austin are the final two. Obviously, Kane had weapons in this match, and he was like killing people with weapons and stuff like that. Austin hits him with two chair shots, and then does a clothesline, and Kane is eliminated. And Stone Cold wins his third Royal Rumble. The only person today to win three consecutive to win three Royal Rumbles. Um, nobody on the main roster has done that yet. So that is my WWF Royal Rumble. 2001 review leave your thoughts in the comments guys and i'll show you guys in peace